Let's take a look at 15. Domain of the function given by f of x equals natural log of x squared minus 4 is the set of all real numbers x such that what? So this is just pre-calc stuff. This isn't even calculus. So there is a little bit of pre-calc stuff on the test. <clears throat> what do we know about natural log and what we can what we can and cannot take the natural log of? Can't take the natural log of negative numbers and we can't take the natural log of zero, right? It has to be positive. So that means that x squared minus 4 has to be greater than 0. So x squared has to be greater than 4. Take the square root of both sides, we get positive or negative 2. We did this earlier in the year. When we get the positive or negative, the negative part is kind of like if we were dividing by a negative or multiplying by a negative. So the positive, we get x is greater than 2. And for the negative, x is less than negative 2. So in order for this to work, our x value has to be greater than 2, or the x value has to be less than negative 2. So we're not used to using absolute value for inequalities. We need to kind of figure out which one of these goes with this. It's kind of similar, though. With absolute values, like if this is absolute value of x equals 2, well, that would mean x could equal 2, or x could equal negative 2, right? But it's an inequality. So kind of like this, for the positive one, sign stays the same. For the negative one, the sign flips. So x is less than 2, x is greater than negative 2. That doesn't match up with what we had. We know it's not or equals 2, right? So that one's off the list, so is this one. We know it's not just a real number. We have a restriction here. So here, x is greater than 2 or x is less than negative 2. That's what we have. 